But not only that, but he sent Jesus the Christ to die for my sins and then raise himself up again that I may receive the full benefits of eternal life. That lets me know sincere faith realize that real benefits is continuous in my walk with God. Not only was he there for me when he gave me salvation, but when I had difficulty in life, Jesus was still there. When I experienced the lows of low, Jesus was still there. When I was drinking myself out of my mind, Jesus was still there. When I was getting high outside of myself, Jesus was still there. When I didn't know where else to go, Jesus was still there. When I didn't have a place to lay my head in at night, Jesus was still there. Can I tell you in closing, my brothers and sisters, there's no other God besides Jesus that has the power to move in your life. There's no other God besides Jesus that has the power to raise up your bow down head. There's no other God besides Jesus with the power to keep you on the right track. But I, can I tell you what you need in order to be successful with your Christian walk? You need a sincere faith. You don't need a hit and miss faith. You don't need a faith that you think you're fooling God. But you need a faith that'll show up for God the way God showed up for you. Show up in your faith. God will open doors for you. God will send healing to you. God will open your mind to His Word. God will fill you with His Holy Ghost. And when you got the power of the Holy Ghost, you walk in power. You talk in power. You speak in power. Keep on with your walking, God. They say the darkest night is just before the dawn. But the hardest fight is to keep holding on. Hold on, Corinthian. Hold on to your faith. It's not in vain. God knows who's depending 